common finding in social psychology is that people often misinterpret whether a behavior is influenced by internal or external reasons. One example is overjustification, which occurs when we think our behavior is caused specifically by the situation, leading us to overlook the extent to which this behavior was actually due to internal reasons. Studies have found that the only way to accurately observe overjustification is if the participant has a strong initial interest in the activity. Other factors don't tend to affect the results as much. In this study, 44 4th and 5th grade students were selected after a baseline phase in which students were introduced to new math games. The students were told that the more hours they played the game, the more credit they would receive towards the school math awards. Once this reward was taken away, two out of three of the experimental groups showed significant decrease in interest in the activity. This is an example of the overjustification effect, in which an activity that the two girls initially liked became unenjoyable once the extrinsic motivation was taken away. I love reading. And I love drawing. So great these girls love these stimulating activities. We have to make sure that they keep it up. And we've come up with a plan. For every 10 hours you do of drawing or reading, we're going to give you $10 in a candy bar. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Great job, girls. You've already done 80 hours. Awesome. Thanks, Mom. Do you think it's a little ridiculous that we are bribing the girls, giving them money on an activity that they already enjoy? Hmm. Well, you have a good point. Girls, why aren't you drawing and reading? We don't really like that anymore, Mom. The best way to use an extrinsic motivation is towards an activity that is not initially desired. That way, if the motivation is taken away, the girls aren't losing interest in something they really love. In this example, the girls still love drawing and reading at the end because they are still intrinsically motivated by it. It's great that these girls love these stimulating activities, and now I think we should encourage them to exercise a little bit more. Every hour you do of exercise combined, then we're going to let you watch 10 more minutes of television at night. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. exercise this week? Well, the TV's broken. Yeah, so why would we exercise if we can't watch extra TV? 